everyone, what's up? This is Simon, back with a new tutorial and back with a green screen that you actually don't see because I edited out of the video, uh, so I got this cool effect. Uh, feels a bit weird to record this, but anyway. Today, I want to show you five different packages that you can easily integrate into your Ionic 4 application or 3, maybe, whatever you use. Um, that will give us nice animations. Um, so we will use CSS animations and we will use some JavaScript. Um, so let's see what we got. I already started this um, video with a blank project and I installed five packages. So the packages are like these. Let me bring them in. So we got um, anime.js, a lot of stars on GitHub, um, a cool library to create animations. Then we got uh, magic CSS, just um, 5,000 stars, um, quite a lot as well. Um, some pretty easy CSS animations that we can add. Then one thing I found recently, which is called number flip, um, not so many stars, but it's a nice example of how to create an animation like this, um, a bit special case, but I wanted to show it as well. And then we got the huge animate CSS in our um, five animation packages row as well. So this will uh, be interesting. And then finally, Bounce.js, also a lot of stars on GitHub, um, used more uh, to create complex animations, I would say. Not so easy like the previous ones, uh, but let's go through them one by one. The good thing is we can really install all of them simply um, by running the npm install. And for some, we need a different approach to integrate them. But let's get started with our homepage and um, I'll also bring up Ionic Surf in the background already. And what we're gonna do in the beginning is animate JS. So we installed it and now let's create a simple box that we want to animate. So let's call this animate, animate me. And I'll also bring in uh, our Ionic Surf already. So um, actually, if you have an idea how I could display the code and the Ionic Surf next to each other a bit better, or if you want to see it open all the time, so maybe the window a bit smaller, uh, just let me know. I'm open for all the recommendations now that I got this great green screen and I uh, feel so YouTube. Um, anyway, we will use this uh, Animate Me box um, with just a few lines of CSS, so I will bring them in. So now we should see a blue box in our view, 50-50, some padding, um, if the reload is loading. And then we want to apply our first library, which is Anime CSS, on this box to create a nice effect. And to get started, we need to, um, actually we can close this for now. We can import, um, Everything is anime from anime.js, uh, not the CSS one. Now we can use this. Um, I'll actually, perhaps I'll bring in a few buttons. Let me check. So I've copied in a few buttons uh, that we can use to call the different libraries. So let's create the functions. So this is the first, then we got magic, uh, then we got the flip for the numbers, then we got animate CSS, and finally we got the bounce as well. Uh, you already see we will use with a uh, we will work with a few view children, but for now let's use call anime and we will go ahead and call it um, like this. So we don't need a constructor, we don't need it to import it in any other way. Uh, simply create a new animation like this, and I'll bring in the code I added to the tutorial. So we need a target, of course, which is in our case the CSS class of our box. Then we do a little transformation, return, background, duration. The setup is pretty easy, so it's very easy to animate things. Um, so let's see uh, how the view looks. First of all, we should see our uh, 
five new buttons. And then if we hit the first button, we see the animation, which is actually pretty cool, I think. Um, if we do it again, it's um, maybe not so cool like before, but still, um, if we execute it the first time, the animation is pretty great. We change the color, we rotate, we do a lot of things, um, and we just do this with one call and the target. So definitely a library that's easy to use, very fast, very easy, um, definitely recommend. So let's continue with uh, Magic CSS. Uh, we installed Magic CSS and to use it, we need to go to our global SCSS and add a new line in here because we need to import from the node modules folder, just like we import all the Ionic stuff, the Magic uh, CSS stuff. So this one needs to go to your global SCSS in order to use it. And to do our Magic, um, I think we can continue to use the box from before, uh, but now, or maybe, um, maybe for this, let's add, add view child, um, add view child from Angular Core, of course, and we will call this box, um, and this is the element element reference so there we go um, we already gave the box id no we didn't so now we got the box uh, and the box element and we can access this element and apply it from magic css simply classes so we could also do it directly in here but sometimes you want to perform an animation on click so let's use our box uh, native element class list and we can add classes. So to use magic CSS, we use first of all magic time. So this needs to be added to the class list. And then um, let's check where's my other tab. Um, there are quite a few that you can add. So poof in or whatever, there's a demo page. So um, let's use, I think this one looks nice, foolish in. So on click, we simply apply CSS classes to an object. Um, and let's see what happens. Um, we don't use the first button, we use the second. And we see the crazy animation of fool, where is it? There. It's always nice that those pages have a preview of their animations. So all of these could be used uh, simply at magic time and then the name of the animation and we do it on click. That's just an example of how to do it. You can also directly add magic time and it uh, to the element, um, just like the class. Again, very easy to use. Um, just make sure you include the CSS file in your global SCSS because it's in the node module and it's not automatically copied, but then it's a super easy to use um, lightweight uh, package with a few uh, options and effects that you can apply to your view. All right, um, the third one is about our um, number flip. So for this, I changed the header a bit to have this little number button inside. And if we got the number button, you already see that we use the view child as well. And in order to get it right, we also need read element ref, I think. Maybe it works directly on the diff we now have, but anyhow, and for this library, we also need to import flip from, uh, I think it was number flip here, yeah. number flip. And then we can continue. And um, we want to do this animation multiple times so we can create an animation object and then run it a few times. So I will define this uh, flip flip animation to be null in the beginning and then inside our flip we will check um, if we already got it or if it's still null and then create the new flip animation using our button element so the one we just created um, from just a number in for the beginning and then whenever we want to um, call this again maybe the brackets are wrong okay uh, we can simply use our flip animation that we created because this is now bound to the native element 
and say flip to and then um, some information and let's use math.floor um, math.random so just to get a nice big number plus one and there we go so this block will be called once to set up the general animation and then uh, what follows and the next time is just the flip to animation I think I forgot a bracket um, yeah that's one one uh, come on come on uh, is this right yes this looks right so uh, we go ahead number flip we added the element at the top so we should see now whenever we hit number flip a new number and we got this cool uh, counter animation that counts up the number um, if you see the numbers it's actually pretty easy but the effect is still uh, quite nice and I found this package very easy to use nice animation so if you got a case where you need something like this definitely easy to use as well all right uh, now we come to the maybe biggest player in the field which is animate CSS uh, again in this case we need to import and this is from animate uh, dot CSS slash animate min CSS so just like with the magic um, it's something they also say on their page do I have the page somewhere um, what do they call it just add water CSS animation it's actually just like this it's really super easy to get started with animate CSS um, they have great animations so uh, maybe just one example is you can directly add the classes to an HTML element so uh, what you need to add is animated just like we had magic time previously now it's animated then the name of the animation you can add the delay and infinite and if you set it up like this you will get a pretty annoying uh, animation that looks exactly like this and I can't look at this for very long okay it's actually the rubber band is okay to look at um, but you see we just included the line uh, the import we installed the package and added the import and then we can uh, just add water and the animation works uh, like this but we can also um, do it a bit more complex and I have to remove infinite or my eyes hurt um, so let's say we have a little list of ion items um, in our case just an array of three strings and we can add the class like this uh, animated again fade in left and even add a delay based on the index of the list and in that case everything from that list should flow in and also the items should have a delay so the first has no delay and there we go first second and third item um, of course always uh, up to you if you need something like this or not but it works pretty great out of the box and also I wanted to show you uh, we can do it from the uh, HTML side of things but we can also use it from uh, within our um, TypeScript file so therefore we're gonna add another view child uh, and this is actually view children um, so this will return as a query list um, of elements from the item list which are basically our ion items so here's the item list and if we then go to animate items we can first of all get the elements from this dot items to array so these will give us uh, three element references and then we can call on each of those elements using the map function uh, return element native element class list dot add um, zoom out right okay so this will uh, add the zoom out right class to all the items once we hit the animate CSS button right and this means the zoom out right animation will be called and we still got the delay in here um, which is a bit problematic because we have added them 
uh, like this in the beginning. So the ion item has still the class delay one second, delay two seconds, delay three seconds. Um, and so the delay will be also used on the following animation. So if you want a lot of in, uh, animations and um, maybe I can bring it up because it's really um, amazing how many animations they got. Um, those are pretty awesome. You can check them out from here. Um, Animate CSS is basically everything you need if you want to pick just one package. So uh, it's easy to use, easy to apply to the elements and uh, in general, super easy. Okay, the last one I want to show you is Bounce.js. It's a bit more complex, I would say, than the previous one. So um, I've added a bounce button and called this one bounce button. So we need the view child again for the bounce button and we also need to import everything as uh, bounce from bounce.js. Um, and the uh, bounce animations are created um, as you can see, powerful CSS keyframe animations that you can set up. And I just uh, copied over the starting whatever code from bounce.js and only changed this to be our bounce button native element. So whenever you see something like um, this, where they use document query selector, uh, we can easily swap this to the Angular version with view child and the native element. And as you can see, setting up the bounce animations um, is a bit more complex uh, than just using the anime package in the beginning where it's um, quite obvious what is going on. Here we got a lot of coordinates, easing, duration, delay, stiffness, um, many things that we can use. Um, still, the result is good. So if we now hit the bounce button, uh, maybe the animation is a bit fast, but you can compose really great keyframe animations. So if you're already into those animations, um, you can use Bounce.js to create nice animations from JavaScript uh, that you can also then easily apply to the elements. Just the setup is maybe a bit more complex. They don't have so many predefined things like whatever, AnimateJSS or Magic CSS or the other things. So I hope you enjoyed the five animation packages. Um, maybe one is for you. Definitely leave a comment below um, which of the packages you have used or if you have used another package, maybe uh, we can then have a part two if I find another five packages. Um, there are definitely a lot of great packages out there. So thanks to um, the uh, creators of those five packages if everyone or anyone from those packages is watching. So thanks for doing that. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, make sure to subscribe to the video below and also check out the ionicacademy.com, which is my school, um, not my Ionic, but my online school for you to help you learn Ionic in the best possible way. I'd love to see you inside and of course inside the next video. So have a great day and take care.